Hey, this, this is Dr. Sue from Functional Medicine Plus. I want to tell you about a vitamin that Nancy and I didn't used to know about. Despite the fact that we are science nerds, we've been through med school, uh, we like to study all the literature all the time, we did not know about this particular vitamin until we learned functional medicine. So we wanted to share this with you. This vitamin is called vitamin K2. And uh, if you want to read about it, there is a blog on our website, functionalmedicineplus.com, where you can read more about it and you can share it with people that might be interested. Vitamin K2 is very, very important for a number of reasons. But let me tell you that there is a vitamin K1 that you might be familiar with that has everything to do with how your blood clots. So some people who are on blood thinners, that's a very important uh, part, vitamin for them to be aware of. Vitamin K2, however, is distinctly different. Vitamin K2 has to do with how calcium is distributed in your tissues. Now, let's just back up for just a second here. Let's talk about hardening of your arteries or heart disease or cardiovascular disease. What happens to your blood vessels when you are developing heart disease? Well, they begin to get buildups inside them called plaques that contain a number of things, but one of the big components is calcium. Calcium is a big form of that um, plaque that's within your arteries. And when that happens, your arteries stiffen, they become hard, that's why it's called hardening of the arteries, and they make you more prone to heart disease, uh, peripheral vascular disease, that's the arteries supplying your hands and feet and all and your, your, all your organs, that becomes compromised. Um, and also, you, you have a greater chance of having heart disease. So we don't want the calcium buildup in those particular blood vessels. Back to vitamin K2, how does it work? So K2 has a way of uh, changing a particular protein in your body. We don't need to name it, but when it changes that protein, that protein is able to go around and scarf up calcium and distribute it where it needs to be. It doesn't need to be in your arteries, right? However, that particular protein that vitamin K2 acts on is found readily in your cartilage and bones. Doesn't that make sense? We want our calcium in there. So it helps trap calcium where it needs to be. Now, because we're also nutritionally deficient, most of us probably really don't have enough. So I made a list of some foods that do contain vitamin K2. As always, it's best to get your vitamins from foods if you can. Um, so here's, here, here's some ideas. Vitamin K2 is found in grass-fed dairy products like cheeses and grass-fed butter, Kerrygold actually being our favorite. It's also found in egg yolks. Eggs are a good thing. It's found in chicken livers, yuck, but it is in chicken breasts. That's okay, that sounds good. It's in sauerkraut of all things, and it's in ground beef. So think about incorporating those cheeses and eggs and those particular meats into your diet if you are worried about not having enough K2. Now, K2 also comes as a supplement. It's very easy to get a hold of. It's very inexpensive, but we like the K2 preparation that is bound to vitamin D. You'll see those together many times, vitamin D with K2. And it makes sense because they work together uh, in concert to actually help get minerals into your bones. So that's a good way to get both your vitamin D in your K2. I hope this information was helpful. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.